hello. Today I'm going to show you how to create 3D shapes or forms. So a shape is flat and two-dimensional and a form in the art world is something that's three-dimensional or, or something that could hold volume, we say. So I'm going to start by showing you how to create a cube. So I'm going to use a Sharpie just for the sake of you being able to see this really clearly on my paper, but I always recommend no matter what you're doing when you're drawing, start with a pencil in case you make a mistake. So. A cube would be a square to start. So again, squares are two-dimensional. They have height and width. Okay, a cube, if I wanna turn this square into a cube, I'm going to create some diagonal lines from each of the corners. And then I'm gonna connect those lines with a vertical line and a horizontal line. So a horizontal line is a line that goes from side to side, like that. And then a vertical line is a line that goes from uh, top to bottom, or up or down, like that. Also do it this way. So next I wanna show you how to make a rectangular prism. So a rectangular prism is kind of pretty much the same idea as the cube, but it starts with a rectangle instead. So I have my rectangle, diagonal line from the top corner, diagonal line from the top corner. These diagonals are the same size, they're the same length, and they're also going the exact same direc direction, so the angle is the same. Now I'm gonna show you a cone. So a cone starts with almost like a triangle or the start of an A, so something like that. And then the cone is pretty simple. All I have to do here is instead of making this a straight horizontal line, I'm gonna make a curved line to show the roundness of the cone. Let's do a cylinder now. So cylinder starts with an oval. And then all I have to do here is draw a straight line down from either of the, of the sides of this oval, the ends of this oval. So a vertical line from the side straight down, from the side straight down. Then the bottom is a curved line. Like that. And last but not least, I want to show you how to make a pyramid. So we start with a triangle, and then we draw a line from the bottom here, like that. And then this diagonal line from this bottom corner goes up, and then this one goes to the point. So it's a little bit different than prisms or cubes, because this one comes right up here. I could, if I wanted, if I'm making the roof of a house, for instance, instead of coming to the point, if I do a straight line and a straight line, 